Okay, let's have a look at oil and filter changes. And it's recommended that an oil and a filter are changed together on a diesel engine. Land Rover recommend that an oil and a filter change happens every 6,000 miles. However, in uh, severe operating conditions, Land Rover recommend that the oil and filter change happens about 3,000 miles. These severe conditions include off-road in mud, airborne sand and dust, operating at high speeds in constant high ambient temperatures above 40 degrees centigrade, like the Sahara Desert, or if you are continually stop-starting your vehicle. However, there's a few other factors to consider, and one of those is long periods of idling an engine or running an engine under a running temperature. This will produce sludge. And one of the reasons for this is moisture is actually not forced out of the crankcase if the vehicle hasn't got up to running temperature. Uh, in the case of the diesel engines, 85, 89 degrees centigrade. So what happens is a, a large amount of carbon is produced and this shortens the life of the oil. Okay, in the last video, I showed you a little bit about how to fit the filters. Now, there's a couple of ways of priming the, the system and some people some fitters will fill this filter up and then screw it on however because it's at an angle I'm not going to do it this way I'm going to screw it on empty first and then what I'll do is I'll top up the engine the capacity is about six liters give or take and um, I'll put about five four to five liters in now the oil I'm using here is a uh, grade that I prefer which we'll talk about that later. I need some oil on the dipstick first and I've got some there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is prime the oil filter by running the engine until the oil light goes out. Now you'll see that the oil light's gone out so I can then turn it off. I know now that the uh, oil filter is actually primed. The next thing to do is wait a while, like have a cup of coffee or something and then come back to the engine and uh, recheck the levels. The oil does take a while to come down on a 200 TDI engine. If you notice I'm holding the dipstick downwards, this is quite important. I've seen quite a lot of people actually hold the dipstick upwards while they're reading it. Anyway, it's just a matter of um, topping it up and I'll do this bit by bit. This way you know you're not going to overfill it. So what you're looking at is the uh, oil at the top of the marker if you like or in between the two markers and uh, you're safe to go. Check this as due course to make sure it's not split. That's uh, quite important otherwise you end up having oil seeping out onto the rocker cover. What sort of oil should be used? Well that's a very good question. Um, there's quite a few factors involved. Now for a little bit of education here. I'm just going to go over one of these. So it's, this is the oil viscosity index and this very much depends on where you live in the world. The data that I've got here that I'm going to show you is supplied by the Land Rover um, Discovery Workshop Manual and uh, it's important that you start to understand if you're interested in what oils you can use is to look at your data manual. Okay. With the uh, um, oil indexes, it's very much dependent on ambient temperatures. So, depending on where you are in the world, you could um, live in places minus 30 or below, or up to 50, 55 degrees centigrade. Now, that's along the bottom on this graph. And along the side, on the left-hand side, you, you have your oil indexes, which uh, going from the tops 5W50, down to 25 w50 now 5 w50 minus 30 to 55 whereas 25 w50 is suitable for places that never get cold so your ambient temperature will be from 5 maybe to 55 degrees centigrade okay well we'll move on to a simpler graph here that's maybe a little bit more understandable um, for us in the uk we're looking at temperatures that will probably never reach below minus 10 or 15 degrees centigrade and uh, it won't get that hot so what we usually do is look at something like 15 w40 
15W50. Okay, to the extreme, 25W50, well, it's suitable for an environment that never gets cold. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful for you. We will actually cover more of these issues, but it's quite a, a, an in-depth subject. Basically, however, if you are going to uh, change your oil and you don't really know what to use, then buy from somebody who supplies oil and Land Rover parts. 